Oh, okay. Uh, it's another busy day. Well, what days aren't busy? When you think about it. Uh, been listening to the news as I do. <laughs> and the big thing, a lot of the news coming out of America, isn't it? I mean, the thing here in Britain that we're talking about before I move on to America and the fact that <laughs> Sarah Palin's decided not to run it for the uh, Republican nomination for the presidential race next year, 2012, uh, you know, she's uh, said that uh, she's put God, uh, her family, and then the country. That's the order she puts it forward, but I mean, any uh, objective observation uh, of uh, her movements and what she's been doing in the last couple of years, three years, I think, since John McCain put her on her ticket as the vice presidential candidate in his failed bid to make the presidency. He was a war hero with that John McCain, wasn't he? Anyway, Sarah Palin, God, family and country, <laughs> who was her God? Money, isn't it? <laughs> she can make more money if she doesn't run as a presidential uh, hopeful. Anyway, all the poll figures were showing that she wasn't even going to get selected, let alone run a race and win it against the Democrats. Uh, she can make money from Fox News and writing spurious books about, you know, nonsensical policies. Anyway, I was going to talk about Britain now. They're talking about QE2, QE2. A lot of you would say, QE2? Didn't they bloody retire the QE2? They built another ship called the, the Queen Mary. I remember the, when they uh, mothballed the QE2, they turned it into an hotel or something. I probably sold it to the Americans. They buy all things British, don't they? They bought London Bridge, or is it the Tower Bridge? Anyway, QE2, the Queen started crying when they uh, got rid of that luxury floating hotel of hers. But, QE2 they're talking about now is quantitative easing, isn't it? Quantitative easing, quantitative easing, that's it. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. I ain't got long, so I better tell you quick. They want to pump another 50 billion quid into the economy, which means just printing money, yeah? A lot of that money last time, the first time they did it. Remember the big banking crash back then? How can you forget? Lots of you've lost your jobs and blooming seen prices go through the roof. <laughs> Utility bills and everything like that, they're coining it in. I want to know what kind... Of, it's them people that work for the utility companies who's getting these top pay. Oh, I like this song. Who in the Catherine Perkins, no, she's back, Catherine someone. Perry, that is it. Oh, jar of hearts. Anyway, them guys in the utility companies and all kinds of other companies, they're coining it in. And a lot of this quantity of easing they talk about, printing money. You, know? you say you're a Christian. I'm here to challenge that. I say you're mistaken, I want an answer back Action speaks louder than words, I've heard them all before But you can't do what you see, cause you've been led astray By men who don't serve the true God anymore You say you're a Christian but do you keep his commands? According to tradition, these are the Christian lands. When a man takes it into his head to go to bed with another man's wife, you say that's okay, cause it's the fashion today. Everybody's doing it, let's face it, that's a lie. But watch what you see